Hi everyone. We are glad to announce the new feature that is commissions and payouts. Now as an admin, you can configure, you enable the commission on the marketplace and uh, configure it as per your requirement. So that for every transaction, for every payment that is happening on the platform, be it the impact payments or be it the fee payment that is uh, basically for the appointments or the sessions or the fee payment group. Yeah, or instant payment. For every transaction, we are going to have a commission for the same. So, in order to configure the, uh, enable the con commission and configure the uh, commission, we need to go to the admin panel, scroll down the menu, go to this option that says commissions, click on it. And over here, we, we land on the screen that is basically our commission screen. So in order to have commission on the platform, first we need to enable it. So as I have already enabled the commission, so that's why it's already enabled. So, so let's enable it again. Next thing is, uh, uh, what is the type of commission or the level of commission or the payout? Thing? So we'll go one by one. So let's start with the commission level. So we have two type of commission level. First is the marketplace. Second one is the expert level. So the marketplace level is basically uh, de depicts that uh, the commission configuration that uh, you as an admin, we as an admin are going to set it up for them is going to be common for all the experts. So let's say I set it up as 10% uh, as, a, as a commission at a marketplace level. So for all the experts, I'm going to charge them 10% since it's set as, as a, on a marketplace level. Second one is for individual experts, let's say I want to charge a different commission rate for different experts. So I can set it up as a, at the expert level so that I can, I can manage their commissions at, uh, for different experts will have different commissions. Next is what is the type of commission that we are going to have. So we either we can have percentage basis or we can have flat basis. So percentage basis and flat basis. Uh, finally, we have uh, the payout mode. So we have two payout mode, uh, offline and online. Offline basically depicts that the, the settlement of the payout amount uh, uh, is done off the platform by the admin. Whereas uh, the online payout mode uh, basically Fix that the payment transfer is done to the verified account details of the expert through a payment gateway. So for the online payout, uh, currently we have three of the payment gateways that is already integrated in the in the Panther. That is PayPal, Razorpay, and Stripe. In order to have online payout mode, you need to have either of these payment gateways in your marketplace so that you can have online payout mode. Otherwise, you can have it as an offline payout mode. The commissions will be uh, calculated. Only the payout settlement needs to be done off the platform. Next is uh, three different options that we have in front of us. So let's go one by one. So if my commission type is set it as a uh, percentage basis, so the first thing that we have over here is the commission value. So commission value is basically the is basically defines that. Let's say I want to charge ten percent for every payment that is above thousand rupees or equal to thousand rupees, and the maximum that I'm going to take it as a, a commission amount is 500 rupees. So 10 percent is the uh, that I have set it up as a percentage. Thousand rupees any transaction that is equal to or above uh, thousand rupees the the configuration will be applied the commission will be calculated and the maximum commission amount that I can charge for for any of the transaction that is above 
or equal to thousand rupees is five hundred rupees. So let's say there is a payment of ten thousand rupees done by a customer for a consultation, and the percentage that we have set it up as a ten percent. So ten percent of ten thousand becomes thousand rupees, and the maximum since we have set it up as uh, the maximum commission value. Or the maximum commission amount as five hundred. So basically, five hundred is the maximum amount that I can charge to the expert for a particular transaction. For this ten thousand uh, 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 transaction, the final split payment is going to be as nine thousand five hundred for the expert and five hundred for the admin as a commission. Let's change the commission type to flat, and we are left with two options. So, ten rupees is the flat amount that I'm going to charge for every transaction that is equal to or above ten uh, one thousand. So let's take an the same example. Ten thousand rupees is the is the uh, is the amount that was paid by the customer. So, that is of course above. Uh, uh, I mean, greater than. Uh, One thousand rupees. So the commission computation will be applied. So for that particular transaction, the ten rupees as a flat amount that I'm going to charge. The final payout is going to be nine thousand nine hundred and ninety to the expert and ten rupees to the admin. So that's that's what is all about about how what are the settings we have over here uh, for enabling. The commission with uh, with, uh, with with a few of the examples, and uh, next is uh, what are the how do we enable that payment gateway that we have, and what are the uh, what are the what are the set of uh, uh, things that needs to be done as an admin in order to have payout. So, in order to uh, To enable a payment gateway in your marketplace, we need to go to configuration, conversation sections, go to the chat dashboard. Under the chat dashboard, there is a settings. Under settings, we have payment method. So over here, we have all the payment gateways that are already integrated in the Panther. So, so next thing is uh, since since we have Uh, these three payment gateways only as an online payout mode that works at the moment. So, the first thing is of course uh, uh, the razor pay. So now, uh, apart from adding the razor pay secret key, key ID, now the another thing that we need to add is the account number. So how do we get the account number of the razor pay? So for that. We need to go to the Razor Pay X dashboard and log in with the same credential uh, that we have for the Razor Pay. Once you successfully log in to the Razor Pay X dashboard, go to this cute little icon, click on My Account and Settings. Go to banking. Copy the account number. Come back to the chat dashboard. Paste it. Save it. Now our Razor Pay X is integrated with uh, the Razor Pay. So for all the Razor Pay users, uh, they can add their uh, Razor account through the Razor Pay. Next is for the Stripe. For Stripe, uh, we need to have uh, 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 Stripe Connect enabled in our Stripe dashboard. So that's the Stripe dashboard. So once you log into your Stripe dashboard, we need to go to the Connect uh, configuration. So and do the setup for the Stripe Connect. Once the Stripe Connect uh, is active. So all the users will be able to connect their account to Stripe, and finally we have uh, the PayPal. So PayPal or PayPal, 
uh, admin needs to have uh, the business account for the PayPal, and for the experts, they need to have the individual PayPal account, the, the phone number they can connect with, or the email ID of the PayPal can connect. Last is uh, once the the payment is uh, done or the configuration is done. So, as an admin, you, you will have a bird eye view for the same under the payout section that is there under the manage tab. So you can have a view for the who was the expert, what was the email of the expert, date of transaction, what is the status of this particular transaction, what is the payout amount as per the configuration, what was the amount that was paid uh, by the customer, what was the payment type, was it in chat or a prepayment, what was the payment gateway. All these details as an admin that you can see it, you can also have an option to filter it by date. date range. So let's say I want to filter it out by this month, so I can filter it out. And along with it, if I want to see like you know, how many transactions are under process, uh, what is the uh, type of transaction? Was it uh, a prepayment or in chart? So let's let's take in chart and let's search it. Since we have all the payment into the prepayment mode, so that's why uh, there is no result found for this one. And uh, finally, if I want to export it, I can export it into PSV as well. Next thing is you must have noticed that we have a status column that says processed and unprocessed. So process is something that is already processed by the payment gateway. So and uh, or or you have marked it by yourself if it is an offline payout mode. So if you have you have marked it as a, a, a process, um, meaning that uh, the payout has been done off the platform. Let's say this is the payment that uh, that uh, has been settled off the platform by the admin to the expert. I can just confirm it, and it has been marked as process. Similarly, at the expert end, they will they will be able to see it. Uh, the transaction has been marked as process in the payout section. That's that's uh, pretty much all about uh, the entire end-to-end -end journey of the admin where we have covered so far uh, how we can configure the uh, co uh, commission, enable the configuration, set, set it at multi, uh, I mean, uh, different level, different type. Then we went through the payment gateway channel where we, how we can enable a payment gateway for Razorpay users. Uh, they need to have Razorpay X account linked with their Razorpay. So for that, we need to have uh, a account number for the same. So all we have to do is just copy it, paste it over here, and their Razor Pay X account will be linked with this. And for the Stripe user, they need to have Stripe Connect enabled in their uh, uh, Stripe account so that uh, the experts can connect their uh, account with the Stripe Connect. And finally, the, for the PayPal, the experts need to have uh, individual account for the PayPal so that the payout amount is transferred to the PayPal, to their PayPal ID. Thank you.